this with the colors, making That's it look right. smooth. You see what I did, Molly? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, I know my good brother over there. I know he wasn't going to be able to hang with me. Of course. This is orange and green. There's levels to this, this right, There sir? are definitely levels. Okay. And we're on the highest of seven hills. Absolutely. And my people know where we yes, are. And we have another one of your friends joining us, the one and only Kevin Hart. Hey, Kevin. come on, Kev. Yes, sir. This hello, so hello. Great. Thank you for being here. Hello, hello. Congratulations to my brother Will Packer, Thank everybody. You, Thank you. Thank you. And, and that's where I want to start. Because we're really here for you, Will. Thank you. The Will Packer Amphitheater. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What does this mean to you? What would your 18-year-old self be saying right now that you'd be standing on this stage? Yes, sir. An Listen. amphitheater named after you. Here's the thing, and it's not even just about me, Molly. I will be honest with you. I'm a young man, St. Petersburg, Florida, went to an HBCU. I had options, yep. right? I was, I was recruited to go to Harvard, to Penn, to get nothing wrong with any of those schools. Of course. I chose to go to an HBCU. And it changed. It changed the trajectory of my life, to be honest with you, Molly. It, w it showed me that I could be whoever I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. I found my voice, I found my dream right here on the campus of Florida a &M University. It means everything. I represent a lot of people. I represent a lot of people, Molly. It's incredible. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be with both of you and Kevin coming out. I know you did it for your boy. Um, but gentlemen, there was a game last night. Did y'all see it? Oh, man. A really good football game. <laughs> and I am very, very disappointed with Shocker. the man to my right. Shocker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go there Shocker. right now. Okay, because he's a bad man, right? He is a bad okay. man. Okay, all right. Let, let, man. Let's Life and football in a whole new level, and I just have a greater appreciation for moments like this, uh, a greater uh, connectedness to my teammates. Um, I told him in the locker room after the game uh, just to savor these moments because this is the kind of things you think about and talk about 20 years from now when you're done playing. The special locker room celebrations, the elation on the sideline after a big play that seals a the game. There's nothing like this game. Uh, it's, it's a special game that gives you so many lifelong memories and friendships, and I'm so thankful. Well, a couple of things. I think, first of all, I think it's important to give just America, everybody here, fam, you, and everybody watching in America, I think it's important to give them the breaking news. I'm not perfect. I'm not oh, okay. oh, I just, I just, oh, I just think it's important. I just think it's important to mention that. Okay, I, don't, I, don't, I know it's hard to believe, yeah. but it's wow. true. I know it's hard to believe. It's true. Listen, I don't think that's ever been said, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I don't think anyone <laughs> has ever said. It. Here's the yes. deal. He's, he's a bad man. I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. Okay, without three receivers, not one, not two, but three receivers, the man went out there and handled his business. I expected more from the Arizona Cardinals. They were undefeated. We saw Kyler Murray, we saw A.J. Green out there, we saw DeAndre Hopkins out there, and I expected more. And as far as I'm concerned, they might have taken it for granted because, you know what, he don't have Devontae Adams, he don't have Valdez Scantlin, he doesn't have Lazard. So guess what? They're going to have to run the ball to beat us. That was my mentality. And Aaron Rodgers went out there and reminded everybody what a bad brother he well, I think, is. I think, you're the only, I think you're the only person that needed to be reminded. I think, uh, I think everybody else knew. I think everybody else saw the way that Aaron Rodgers has been playing this football season and knew that Aaron Rodgers was capable of doing what he did. Me, I'm not in your seat. I'm not the one that should be able to say the things that actually make sense. That's your job, not mine. So it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy when I see you make the mistakes that you make. Sometimes I text you. I know you read the messages. Uh, you know, you choose not to listen. But Aaron Rodgers is, as you said, a bad man and has been for quite some time. You don't doubt greatness, Stephen A. You don't doubt yeah. greatness, yeah. and that's what he, you did. He coined the term I know. a bad man. Yes, he did. He's, He's a the bad first man. one a bad man. Did you see when adversity hit, what did he do? He turned his back on him real he, quick. You he know what it is, but Stephen A is like a lot of people, and they are still caught up on that opening day game, mm. right, with yes. the Saints, yes. right? They were off, yep. but everybody has a bad game, mm -hmm. Stephen A. That's a bad man, yeah. okay? You can't, you got to stick with yeah. who you ride with. And you have well, rolled with Aaron Rodgers so Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I can, Packard, wait a minute, you know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You should, just, just, should, we, hold on. Yeah. should we ban him from calling Aaron Rodgers that bad man? I don't know, I don't know if he's earned the moniker. I don't know if he's earned the ability. 
ability. You can't say that anymore. Stephen A. Smith, I, Kevin Hart, today have taken the ability from you to say anything in regards to Aaron Rodgers with you using the phrase, he's a bad man. You're on punishment from it because you're not true to what you've said, to what you made other people aware of. Put to doubt that man. So it is said and so it is done. Thank, thank you. you. Right here on the court. Thank you, so, 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 Packer. We stand in so agreement. So you brothers got me down here in Tallahassee, Florida. Y'all just going to jump on me. Y'all ain't even wait five minutes. You ain't even wait five minutes. You ain't even going to jump on me like that. Right? I knew what it was. Oh, don't you worry. Because, gentlemen, it was also... <laughs> see, they know what it is. Uh... It was also that pretty young thing that caught your eye. How'd that turn out? How was the Arizona Cardinals offense looking? Oh, you had it, number it, it, one hold on, hold on. on your Stevens A list. Uh, we'll have one of those later in the show for you. Wait, 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 you mean the most How, fluid kind of list in all of the America? Fluid. The list that changes. Yes, that's fluid. That's fluid. That's fluid. Yes, that's fluid. Now you see why we got to say fluid. That's fluid. That's fluid. That's fluid. But let me ask y'all a question. Did anybody predict anybody to be 17-0 this season? No. I damn sure know you didn't pick your Eagles to be 17-0. Not about the Eagles. Don't get me started. It's not about okay. the Eagles. Don't get me started. It cut the Tampa Bay Buccaneers no, 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 already got that. a loss. Don't Y'all do already that. got yeah, a don't loss. Do that. I mean, I'm just saying. I uh, mean, they, I mean, they got they got one. They, listen, they won the game last night. Arizona was undefeated, and they were going against an Aaron Rodgers squad where he didn't have his three, not one, not two, but three uh-huh. primary receivers. I mean, it's beyond the realm of comprehension that I thought I thought last night was going to be a bad night. I mean, for me it is, but yeah. I'm not you. I yeah. don't think how you well, think. Well, the only thing, Stephen A., is just that you are somebody that always talks about how Aaron Rodgers or an amazing player can transcend adversity. That's true. You've said yes. that. I've That's heard right. you say that. Yes. That's right. I just think you underestimated at the end of the day what they were going to be able to come in there and do now. Arizona, they did lose that game, okay. right? They did have the opportunity. I was so impressed. Kyler coming down the field at the end of the game. They had an opportunity. Yes, they did. But at the end of the day, he is a bad man, well, a- with or without it. You know his record without Devontae Allen. Let's Adams. get a little specific Adams. here because you know how I could critique Kevin. Will, let you know how. A.J. Green, first of all, we forgot you existed until you came back to and showed and resurrected yourself because I love mm-hmm. A.J. Green. He bowled in Cincinnati, then had a couple of injuries, came back this year yeah. in Arizona. And I love A.J. Green. You, in the, you, you, you got it. It's 14 seconds left on the clock. You throw in a pass to him in the end zone. He didn't even look where he had his back turned yeah. for Corona. How yeah. do you make that it's mistake? It's okay. You're yeah. trying to blame other people. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, right right now yeah. this is a bad move that you're making. What, what's the bad well, move? Well, what you're doing is fumbling. Sometimes when people are falling, <laughs> yeah. they, they look yeah. for other grab. stuff to yeah. grab on. Grab. You grab yeah. on you're the stuff. You're trying to look yeah. other people right. down. Just fall. Yeah. Right now, I'm asking you just, to just fall. Just fall. Why would I, fall. Why would I do that? Just fall and lay down in your wrong. Yeah. That's it. You picked wrong. That's it. You didn't yeah. believe. Yeah. It is what it is, it's Stephen okay. A. Yeah. It's okay. This, this is bad. Yeah, Stephen A's in a sunken place for a quick moment. G- gentlemen, I want to focus on something else, though. Let's talk about the NFC as a whole. I see your uh-uh. Bucks helmet. Yeah. I know you ride for Tampa. Yes. I love me some TB12. Yes. Do you think the Bucks are the best team in the NFC? They are the best team. They are. Listen, listen. We are in Florida. We are in Florida. Listen. You got a lot of people in Florida. I'm... I'm from 727813. That's our area code. Let me tell you Be something. Be careful. Jacksonville and Miami are in Florida, too. Now. Yes, they are, but okay. nobody's having Tom that conversation Brady. about either of those teams. Tom Brady's not in Jacksonville or Miami Absolutely last time not. I checked. Here, the NFC is a track race. It is a track race, and you cannot afford to slip one. It's one by, one by week. And it is going to, this was a big loss for Arizona because they still got to go through that gauntlet that is the NFC West, right? Mm -hmm. The thing about Tampa is that if you look at the way they've been decimated by injuries this entire year, Mm -hmm. it's hard to point to another team that has only got one loss, that has lost, I mean, their entire secondary, right? Week seven, they played their seventh tandem of receiver, of of cornerbacks. Mm gone. Antonio Brown, multiple games, Robert and Constant, all of that, right? So you look at their record with everything that they have done. If they start to get healthy at the right time, yeah. I don't know who you pick over them. I really I, mean I can that. feel you. I can feel you on that. You're not going to say the Eagles, are you? You're not going to say the Eagles. I'm just checking. You're not going to say the Eagles, are you? Kev, I feel like you ought to sit this one out. Let me tell you something. You guys are talking about the wrong thing. My brother Will Packer has an amphitheater named after him. <laughs> That's called deflection. <laughs> 
thing. You guys are yeah, you guys are talking about the wrong thing. Now I understand. I understand the reason for football conversation and speaking on the NFC. And I would love to partake in that on any other day. But today I feel like my words yeah. and my voice yeah. should be dedicated to what's special. Yeah. Yeah. And that's this I agree moment. with you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I agree with it. I agree with Kevin yeah. Hart. Yeah. If not for one thing. Yeah. I totally agree. Because yeah. that's why we eat. Yeah, that's, that's why we eat. I don't want that's okay. the only reason why I'm not talking that's, about that's, 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 that's the only I, I would say this. You did just accuse me a few minutes ago of fumbling. Yeah. Uh -oh. what, what was that? Uh -oh. What was just that? Now? That damn show was a catch. He's a the dreamer. Pass. Do you what see I, a shirt? What I, just did, what I just did was address the moment. Okay. Not, not the now, not the yesterday, the moment. Well, we got and a two hour moment. Okay, well, here's we the got, thing. About me. Here's the thing about me, Stephen A. Smith. What? Here's the difference. Here's the difference between me and you. I have no problem saying when I'm wrong if there's something for me to be wrong about. Right now, I just said it's wrong for you guys to speak on the NFC when we got a man who's accomplished such a such an amazing moment. He knows. Right? Yeah, that's just. He that's knows how to play to the crowd. Yeah. You know, just play to the crowd. We're a fan you. That's why he's a superstar. We're a fan of you. That's why he's a superstar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is why. This is why my brother is one of the best in the business. That's right. That is classic deflection. <laughs> And I accept all of that. I really do. But he don't want no parts of a conversation. Who do you think it is, though? It's Tampa Bay. It's Tampa, Tampa Bay's best team in football. It's Tampa right Bay. Now. We, Tampa Bay. And by the way, but we slept, we slept on Green Bay, yeah. and we have to modify our right. thinking to something. Wait, because it's fluid. By in no way, shape, or form, in no way, shape, or form, Will, when we say Tampa Bay being the best team in the NFC, is that our way of saying that Tampa Bay is a shoe in to win the Super Bowl? No, this no, no. Year. Okay, Absolutely. I want to make sure that you don't. We've got a tough game this week. Well, I just want to make sure that you don't misinterpret that information. One as, thing, as being a sure right. thing. One thing we do know for sure is that it won't be the Eagles. Well, okay? here's, here's, so you know, like, here's what you do like, not know. Here's what you do not know about the Eagles. Okay. We're, we're in a rebuilding stage, and that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It happens. Every great program goes through it. And there's no program like this one that lives in the city of Philadelphia. You don't have a stronger group of individuals with a better, with a better piece of hope. Okay? No. Now, on my shirt, it says Dreamer for a reason. You understand me? It says Dreamer. And I'm dreaming of the days that we get back to the Super Bowl. It won't be this year, <laughs> but it will soon come. It will soon come. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> Let, let, me, let me ask you this, Stephen A. Now when we're focusing on the NFC West, after right. seeing, you know, the Cardinals lose yeah. to that bad man, yeah, as I predicted it, uh, do you think the Rams are ahead of the Arizona Cardinals well, listen, in the NFC West? Listen, I can't say that because the Cardinals handed it to them when they faced each other straight up about three weeks ago. Uh -huh. So we can't get that far. Secondly, it is football. And he gives Stephen A. Smith. Molly, Molly, yes. Molly. Yeah, yeah. Before Talk we really me. get down to sure. talking some football. Thank you for being here, first oh, of all. Thank you so much for inviting me. I thought Stephen A. was going to understand the assignment, yeah. right? I said last week that he would be the worst dressed person here. Oh, no. And I'm right. Oh, I mean, are we not at an HBCU? We are. Right? Yeah. Is, it not, is it not homecoming? Yes, it right? is. Yeah. Did we not have the band bring us in? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And so instead of him bringing a little flair, bringing a little color, and showing that, you know what, I'm deeply rooted in the HBCU tradition of Come shining, yeah. instead of doing that, he came with this corporate suit? Yeah. Right? He came with this tie? It's a lot of patterns. Listen, I went shopping for the occasion. Let me help, let me help my HBCU peeps out. You understand? You don't just dress for where you are. You dress for where you go. What's wrong with me? Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm doing this, and from this, I got to go to other places where I got to be corporate. What's the oh problem? Oh, my gosh. Stephen you a. make Smith. 12 million a year. You can buy right. two suits no, and bring them. That's not true. That's right. not true. You can break two suits true. and bring them. That's, not, that's you, not true. You guys have to understand Stephen A. Smith loves patterns. As a man who loves <laughs> patterns, he's gonna he's gonna mix them up. It's not, it's not just a couple. He's gonna he's gonna hit you with at least three or four. I understand. I understand, Stephen A. And I don't judge you from it. As a, as a man that understands your passion for a pattern, I call you Stephen A. Double P Smith. <laughs> Stephen A. Passion Pattern Smith. And I get it. I get it. Passion pattern. I get it, man. No, you know, y'all know I'm gonna get y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna get y'all. I'm on your side. You. I, really? I'm on this, your side. This, this is on my side? I just said this, this is on my side? You got a passion for patterns. What are you talking about? I'm making people understand why you do it at the level that you do it in. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot on the eyes. It's a lot. It's a lot on the eyes. This, is a, this is a lot of heat for Stephen A. right now. So I'll, I'll give you a break. I can take I'll it. I'll give you a I'm break. I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get him back now.
Yeah. You too, Molly. I'm going to get you back to RC, yep. uh, talk to me. Are the Packers the best team in the NFL? Because it is unbelievable no. to me that they went out there without their top three receivers, and they got that done against what's supposed to be the most prolific offense in the NFL, in the Arizona Cardinals. Sounds good, but they're not the best team in the, NFL, in the NFC. They're not the best team in the NFL. I mean, right now, if you're looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and what they aren't playing with and the way that they've played throughout this season with Tom Brady playing at an MVP level, with a defense finding ways to put pressure on the quarterback, I can't put the Green Bay Packers over them. And then when I watch this game, right, we always look at these teams and say, okay, we're going to look at the head-to-head -head matchup and say that the Green Bay Packers are better than the Arizona Cardinals. The same way there was no Devontae Adams, there was no D-Hop. Right? And the reason D-Hop was out of the game is because he went deep on the guy and hurt his hamstring running away from him. We also look at the two turnovers, right? The fumble, the muff punt return. All these things winning Green Bay's way, in factor, and winning Green Bay's way, and that's how they won the football hold on, game. Hold on, hold on. I just need you to be a little bit careful about the details that you're bringing up about football because we got him to consider here. And we know he can't talk about the Eagles right now. So as you talk about football, and we talk okay. about champions, and this team is not a part of the discussion at all. Right. Okay. I just want you to be sensitive to that. Wait, just, wait, wait. Uh, How, no, wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Aren't more? you a Steelers fan? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. Molly, don't do that. Molly, don't do that. Don't do that. Molly, don't do that. Your team might RC. make the playoffs. Don't do that, Molly. Well, don't do that. Don't RC, do that. Molly, once yeah. again, where where you have to attack Stephen A. is in his word use, right? <laughs> so Stephen A. said, "Be careful talking football to Kevin because he's an Eagle fan." Well, me being a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles has nothing to do with my knowledge of the game of football. Ooh. So I can keep track and keep up with what's being said because we're talking about the rules and the actual state of the game. Ooh. That being Ooh. said, my job being here today is to not only keep up, but apply myself where and when I can. Uh. That's my job. Ew. So please, sir, let me do my job. Whoa. Thank you. RC. Thank you very okay. much, Kevin. RC. So. So the bottom line, the bottom line is, yeah. I don't believe the Green Bay Packers are the best team in the NFC, and I, I just so don't know what to this. say to that. Wait, wait, but before you jump in, so what did you learn last night? I mean, like, are, are the Arizona Cardinals fraudulent? Are the Packers, no, absolutely. Better? Are the Packers better than you Absolutely expected? not. Listen, listen, there's only been one undefeated team ever, right? Mercury Miami Mor Dolphins. Yeah, Mercury Morris was freestyling and popping champagne last night because you know he does it every time the last undefeated <laughs> team loses. Right. The Arizona Cardinals didn't play great last night, and the Green Bay Packers had things go in their favor, and they took advantage of that. The Green Bay Packers are a good team. Let They're in the top three or four okay. or, or, or five let teams in the let NFC. Let me say this. Let me say in all seriousness, all joking, all joking aside. Here's what I would tell you. We walked into the season thinking that Tampa Bay was going, had a better chance, had a good yeah. chance of repeating because all 22 starters returned. Absolutely. And we understand how serious that is. Here's what happened last night that needs to give us all cause for pause. Okay. Aaron Rodgers walked into a game, a Thursday night game, missing his top receiver, his number two receiver, his, his number three receiver. Yes. The quarterback was devoid of his top three weapons. And somehow, someway, against an undefeated team, the defense showed up when it counted. Mm -hmm. Offensively, it wasn't just that the other receivers showed up, but also your running game Run with game. Aaron Jones and Dylan mm -hmm. showed that they, they ran for like 157 yeah. yards last night. What I'm saying is, on many, many occasions, we'll look at a team and we'll say, all right, devoid of their primary weapons. All right, now show us what you got. And when other guys step up and it emboldens them and, uplift and elevates their confidence, when you combine that with the fact that those, at least two of those three are going to return and Aaron Rodgers is the guy behind center, yeah, we can look at Tampa Bay and say they're the best team, but I think what Green Bay did for all of us last night was remind us they still got that bad man, Aaron Rodgers, at the quarterback, and they've got enough weapons to take out anybody, so they've solidified themselves as a bona fide threat. Are they, the top, are they the top They're team not. in the NFC? They're not. Exactly. They're but not. I'm saying, yeah, right now they can do it. And they can go on a road and do it. Most people can't do that. They, well, can, they can. Well, ahead, guys, here, here's, here's what I'm saying. It, it, it pains me. Mm -hmm. pains me to say this, honestly. It, it, it really it hurts that I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to agree with Stephen A. Smith for possibly the first time on this show. Uh, <laughs> it, it will possibly be the last. I don't think there will ever be another time. But what you can't do is ignore moments of greatness, yeah. right? You can't also ignore stardom. What Aaron Rodgers is, he's a bona fide stud in this league and always has been. And when that bona fide stud shows you with or without weapons, I can respond. 
meaning that I can get the job done. Mm -hmm. And I'm also good enough to get my troops in line that aren't my necessary one and twos to understand the assignment and show up and show out. When they do that on a big stage, like last night, that does give you, in your words, not mine, the cause for pause <laughs> to say, hey man, they could be real. I think that the Green Bay Packers, I think that they're definitely in the top three teams in the NFL. I think that they're also Super Bowl contenders this year. I think that they're extreme. They're a threat. They're the a only, real threat. The, the only thing that I would challenge Kevin Hart on yeah. is the fact that he said we can't ignore moments of greatness. One would argue you do that all the time when people sit next to you. You oh. ignore moments of greatness all okay. the time. But that's okay. what I want to oh, say. Oh, Kevin, back to him. It, it, if he wants it, to bring it back to him, can I ask it, all, it always comes yeah. to him. Can, can, can I ask you a question as a former player? <laughs> yeah. Do you think Aaron Rodgers woke up this morning and was just so disappointed in Stephen A. Smith? That he went against him? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, come yeah. on. Absolutely. Oh, come Stephen A's been one of his largest supporters. Yeah. And for Aaron Rodgers to do what he's done throughout his yeah. career for Stephen A, and yeah. for Stephen A to turn on him? Yeah. yeah. How is that it's, turning on him? It's, it's it's almost, I said he was going to lose one it's game. Almost a, it's almost as bad as picking all those this. patterns. Is he the MVP right now? No. No. He's not the MVP right now. But what I'm saying is I'm, I, I picked him to lose a regular season game, and I turned the game It wasn't up. just a regular season game. It was one game. It was the biggest Thursday night football game ever. Game, Stephen A. Prime and, time. And Without his top three weapon. Listen, speak, top three weapon. speaking as a no former faith. player myself, you guys know my background. I played, yeah, you, I played yeah. in the church league. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple of different things that I have under my belt, and you guys can go look it up online. Yeah. There's yeah. several highlights that yeah. follow yeah. me yeah. Right. in my younger right. career in okay. sports. Yeah. I've the watched the thing, tape. The tape yes. doesn't lie. No, yeah. the tape doesn't lie. No. It's actually, you listen, it speaks for itself. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, as a four time MVP, are I don't want to go down my stats. Are you talking about when Lisa Leslie blocked your shot? Hey, Stephen A., we're going down the wrong She saw I saw you saw. coaching the All-Star game. We're going through the wrong thing. I don't want to make this about me. Okay. What I'm saying is, as a player, when you do <laughs> have someone that is somebody in your corner, and that person has a megaphone, that, that megaphone is loud, and that voice is heard, and that person has coined something that now follows you. When people refer to Aaron Rodgers, they say he's a bad man. Steve they pulled that back, that, though, Kev. No. I, that's my he point. He pulled it back. Do you understand? No. Have, you ever, have you ever went to sit in a chair, and somebody pulls the man. chair out before yeah. you so, sit in it? I did not do that. And you yeah. go, yeah. who pulled no. the chair out? Yes. And they go, yeah. it was your yeah. mother. And you go, oh. my mom did that? Not your mom. My mom would do that to me? You... You're so hurt yeah. that your yeah. mom would do such a thing. You have, have you called him today supporter. to apologize? I have not. I, I have not, and I will not. Oh. Because what I said was, Aaron, no quarterback is successful throwing to himself. Aaron Rodgers is without his top three Way weapons, to double down. and it's not fair to you him. You could have apologized at all yeah. the so moment. Why would I you apologize down? to him? You know what why you do? You know what's crazy, though? You miss opportunities to simply do the right thing. Yeah. You could have looked in that camera. <laughs> you could have said, Aaron, you know I what? Wrong. I yeah. messed up, man. I made the wrong choice. Yep. This has nothing to do with you and I. You're still a bad man, and I still believe that you are the best quarterback in the game. Maybe at the time, Brady. But you're the best quarterback <laughs> in the game. The point is, you could have said that. You could have looked right yeah. down the barrel. But instead, you ignored the moment, and you made it about yourself. And this is your problem, Stephen yes. A. Smith. Yes. No. This is your problem. That's not, that is not false. Oh, my. I actually agree with that. I feel this every Monday and every Friday, and I'm just glad that Kevin Hart's here to say these things yeah. to you, because maybe you'll believe him and not me. He has a star power. He, yeah. He's a dreamer. Yeah. Even as a dreamer, he sees you, what you for what you are in reality. Dreamer. Yet wait. reality, it's all about wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to pay hold for on, this. Hold on, hold on. I have, You're gonna a, pay I have for a real this. football right. question, though. What happened with A.J. Green in that final play? Oof. Listen, A.J., listen, Green, everything Green. happens at the line now, right? So yeah. Kyler Murray has an opportunity. Yeah. You're running a route and never, he had his back turned. You never looked for the ball. He never looked for the football. Stephen A., they, but, but there's check with me. He's at the line. Clearly, he thought it was going to be a run play. It ended up not being a run play. Kyler Murray throws the ball. It's actually a great throw. Ends up going to the other team. A.J. Green just never got the communication. Even if there is a check at the line, by the way, which I'm very familiar with, uh, <laughs> if there's a check at the line and you do expect it to be a run play, you're right. still running a route. And running a route, you do have a job to turn and at least be aware. He never turned. I agree. He never turned and looked for the ball I must at all. confess for the first time, I think Kevin Hart's route? Yeah. I mean, it's a miracle. It's, it happens. I mean, it, I mean, yeah, it's I'm glad, right? I'm I'm glad my presence. I mean, it's shocking. I am glad my right. presence has brought you two together. <laughs> you know my presence has brought you two together. I guess with true football greatness and knowledge gets on the set, 
you two guys have to come together and say we're going to combine our strong uh, power. I don't want you to talking somehow... about me and that man right? because you don't have to. You don't have to. You know, my career in football it was short lived. Uh, <laughs> sure, I can get you. Sure. You know what I'm What gonna position do? Sure, did short. you play again? And then I got to go to break. Right well, there. I mean, the question is, what position didn't I play? Because <laughs> exactly. our, team, our team, we it was I was. And uh, I chronicled it all. I, I, I was writing in Philadelphia yeah. for 17 years. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote about yeah. it all the yeah. time. Yeah. I don't recall ever saying yeah. Kevin Hart. Because you never, you never came to my church. It was a church. <laughs> when we come back, more first take. Will, what's happening, my brother? Uh, I was meant to be on the show today with you and Kevin, just, you know, giving you some congratulatory love. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on uh, your amphitheater. That's incredible. It's an incredible honor, brother. But you deserve it. No one deserves it more. And not only have you got a loud voice, and you speak a lot. You now have an amphitheater from which to do it from. That's levels. Levels, brother. I love you, boy. Love you, boy. Wow. Idris Elba. Wow. All wow. the A-listers coming out for wow. the Will Packer Amphitheater I, here for FAMU Homecoming. I, how about that? We got Idris Elba in the house. That's and you. You sure do. Howard could never. Southern could never. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we, here go. we go, Mr. That's Orange amazing. and Green. I'm so filled with gratitude. That is amazing that DE took time out and all these folks took time out. But it's all about raising that platform and raising yeah. the awareness and letting people know. HBCU giving has never been more important. And part of what I want to do is just to make it cool. Yeah. To yeah. make it the type of thing that Kevin Hart and Idris and Taraji and CP, yeah. that they come in and support. It's so much fun. So yeah. thank you. And can I just brag on him one more second? I know this means a lot to you guys. You will be producing the Oscars this year. That's I amazing. The first black man to ever do that. Yeah. Congratulations. I am. I am. That is, that, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, the first, Power move. first solo black producer yes. is huge. It's absolutely huge. And um, I need y'all to tune into the Oscars. I need oh, all y'all to watch. We certainly will. <laughs> we will be there. Much, much time. deserved. Uh, much I, deserved. Let me just say this. Yeah. I mean, the gratitude is to you. I mean, I can't even express how inspirational uh, you are and you should be to all of us, uh, particularly who, who who've attended HBCUs, mm -hmm. the need to give back and to yeah. contribute and to make sure that we uplift one another. Nobody has, and nobody will continue to personify that more than you. So thank I'm you. proud to be yeah. here, and I thank you for your contribution. I received that. And I'm so thankful to still be playing and still be playing at a high level in year 17. High level in year 17. All right, I'm really looking forward to dive into the subject because we talked a lot of Aaron Rodgers in the offseason. We didn't even know if he'd come back. He restructured his deal, Stephen A., so he could be out after the season. I mean, they're winning, to me, from a distance. It looks like he's having fun. Do you think he might finish his career in Green Bay now? I can understand why people would think that, um, and I wouldn't be shocked if it happened. I'm just of the belief that it will not. Mm -hmm. I think that so much has happened. And Aaron Rodgers knew he had great teammates before this season. Yeah. He knew he had a coaching staff that he enjoyed playing for before this season. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers had a problem with management yes. and an individual in particular in terms of the manner in which he was treated. You are, as, as men, we have our egos and we have our, our personas and things of that nature. When you disrespect us and we know we have earned already far more respect then you have shown us, we're going to go out there and do our job. If you're, if you're a professional, you're going to perform to the highest level imaginable. But you're not going to forget. And what better way for Aaron Rodgers to depart than to come back here, mm -hmm. win a Super Bowl championship, deliver another Super Bowl, a Lombardi trophy, trophy to that organization, and then say, you know what, like I said before, I want it out, I'm out. Y'all have a nice life, and ultimate I appreciate it. Ultimate mic drop. That is the ultimate mic drop. You're absolutely right. I could see that happening. It will prove his point. He said he never had any issue with the fans. He never had any issues with the teammates. It was the organization, specific people within the organization. Him having an opportunity to come back and say, I'm still the baddest on the planet, and then leave on my terms, that is exactly what I think he will ultimately yeah, I, do. I don't think he's going to be there, and I listened to Aaron Rodgers talk. Like, Aaron Rodgers is looking at this team with a different point of reflection, right? Aaron Rodgers is looking at this team and telling his teammates, we want you, I want you to enjoy the moments. I want you to feel these things. I want you to experience these things. He's talking to a team that he's not going to be with next year. He's looking at this team differently. 
you normally don't hear Aaron Rodgers wax poetic about his locker room right. or, or talk about his teammates in this way. He is looking at him as the OG, a guy who's played 17 years, who's still playing at a high level, but who also knows that his time there is coming to a close. And if you would have asked people four years ago, does Tom Brady ever wear another jersey, yeah. they would have said no. It's probably, it's probably the same for guys like Joe Montana, for, 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 for Namath, right, for Terry Bradshaw. But at, sometimes you have to move on. And I think for a guy like Aaron Rodgers, when you're done, right, when you're in a relationship and you don't have no more fight, no more energy for the relationship, it's time to move on. And even though Aaron Rodgers is playing at an extremely high level, he's my favorite quarterback of all time, he won't finish his career in Green Bay. And, and Ryan, I would actually say because Peyton and Tom did it, yeah. went to other teams and were yeah. successful, Played it's well. more likely. You know, athletes at the highest level, they want the highest challenge. Let me just say one want. thing. I hear you all, but it's got to be the right situation. Because he is in a good situation. What I'm situation. saying is, Top but let's team. define, Molly, what you just said, what the right situation is. The right situation is for a team that has the potential to win, but also looks at him and basically just engulfs him with the level of appreciation yes. that he believes yes. he has earned. Yes. Yes. Like Tom Brady like Tom has Brady. done. Yes. Like Absolutely. Peyton Manning yes. had happened for him. Yes. That's what he wants. Yes. To go somewhere where it's like, you Aaron Rodgers. Yep. You a bad man. Yep. Here you go. Yep. And the teams will be lined up to give him that opportunity. He will have Steelers. his pick. Steelers. Absolutely. I want to steal it. I want to steal it. I just want to steal it. I'm just saying. I just want to steal it. Okay. Okay. Well, Don't we, we all? Have, we got a game to pick. More for State from FAMU after this commercial break. Will FAMU win homecoming weekend? We'll be picking that. Stay here. You're watching First Take, supplemented by Aflac. Welcome back into First Take. And you know... You, sir, you, sir, are one of my favorite Philly oh, athletes. Nice. And, nice. And, and I want you to know that. That makes me happy. Yes, That good. is not true. Good. It's very much oh, that is he not true. absolutely is. Yes. Please don't speak for me, Stephen A. Now it's your turn. I hear you have a Stephen's A list. I do have a Stephen's A list. Special and, and, and for Kevin way, Hart. And by the way, there's something called true stories that's out right now with this brother. It's not and out yet, but it will be. It will be. It will be. I've already seen something. Yes. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Job. He's trying to butter me up before he... I'm before he absolutely. That's his go-to right move. Right you know here. what it is. It's, it's time for Steven's A-list, okay? I want y'all to listen up, <laughs> all right? These individuals right here, Kevin, Kevin Hart, it's my top five athletes in Philadelphia history. Are you ready? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank you before you even say it, because you didn't have to do that. That's and, right. and to, I put me, you. to put me on your list is very big of you. No, it's not. Then I'm I, not I, putting I, you on the list. You I'm, putting, to... I'm asking you to listen to the list. Oh, you will okay. not be on the list. Okay. Let's go to number five on the list, please. The Minister of Defense himself, the one and only Reggie White. Yes. Remember this brother yes. right here? Yes. Remember yes. how sensational he was? Yes. A sack master, a monster extraordinaire that came at you and just shoved 300-pound three, three men aside like they were rag dolls. That was the Minister of Defense, Reggie White. That's yes. number five on the list, all right? Let's go to number four on the list. Heard of this name before? The one and only Joe Frazier, Ooh. okay? One of the greatest Ooh. fighters in history. Now, I know that Bernard Hopkins, no disrespect to the speed of middleweight champion of the world or what have you, but back in the day, the fight game was a bit different. You went 15 rounds, you went against monsters like Foreman and Norton and Ali and Chambers and everybody else. Smoking Joe Frazier was lethal. That left hook was something special. I agree. Number three on the list, I'm going to go to baseball route, Mike Schmidt. Remember that name? I remember Philadelphia Mike Philadelphia Phillies, okay? Three-time, I mean, three-time league MVP, World Series champion in 1980, World Series MVP, 500-plus home runs in his career, one of the greatest players and one of the greatest third basemen the game of baseball has ever seen. Hall of Fame. Number two on the list, he made house calls all the time. The one and only Dr. J, Julius Irvin. You see the crater right there? You see him right there? That's Julius Irvin. Something special finally won a title in 1983 after that eluded him for many, many years. It was Dr. J before there was MJ. Remember that. Now, and last but not least, it better number be, one uh -oh. on the list. It better be uh -oh. number one on the list. AI, the answer. Alright. Alan right. 
Okay. Iverson. All right. okay. okay. We know about the crossover. Okay. We know what Allen Iverson brought to the table. Okay. okay. But we also know the brother was a culture changer. Okay. How his swag, his walk, the corn break, the fact that he was a miniature giant. He went into the land of giants and looked like one, even though he was 160 pounds and six okay, feet tall. Now, That's my top five. That's, that's, that's an amazing list. That's an amazing list. That's an amazing list. I have theoretically. I have a note. Theoretically, where would Kevin be if it was a top 50? 50. 50. Top, top 50. I could argue to be on that list, but I'm going to tell you the one mistake that you made. And this is respectfully. If you're talking Philadelphia, you understand you're talking to Mr. Philadelphia. You're talking to a Philadelphia native. You're talking to a guy that bleed. I bleed the city of brotherly love. I would have changed Joe Frazier and I would have put Randall Cunningham in that list. Here's why. Randall Cunningham. Why? I'll tell you why. It's not about the wins. It's about the magnitude of in which he brought popularity to the city at a time when that type of quarterback was dynamic. And Joe Frazier, although a Hall of Famer, although a great athlete, I don't think you cannot mention Randall Cunningham and his greatness <clears throat> being attached to, fuck, to Philadelphia. You just you can't. You don't take out Joe Frazier. Though. You don't I, take out I, Joe Frazier. I said Frazier. I would have taken out Joe Frazier. Do you not care about champions? I do care about champions. Oh, wait, was it Randall Cunningham a champion? No, he was not. All right, then. I said I would have put Randall Cunningham in that list. So That's you don't prioritize me. winning? I do prioritize winning, but we were talking about Philadelphia. That's what I'm saying. I also prioritize my city, and I know who did the most and who, like, is amazing individuals. You think Randall Cunningham did more for the city of Philadelphia than Joe Frazier? I think Randall Cunningham, for popularity purposes, being an eagle, and at that time when he was, fly, fly. he made he made fly, the football fly. games, everything they were during that time. He was a dynamic eagle. That's all I'm saying. You can't take that away. Are you going to argue that he wasn't a dynamic eagle? No, I'm arguing that he was top five. Was he, was, he a, was he a walking highlight? Did you yes, want to watch Randall Cunningham was. play? He was. That's all I'm saying when we talk about Philadelphia athletes. He didn't say champions. He said athletes. I Do I need to correct you on the terms that you used? You used the term <laughs> athletes. You said top five athletes to come from Philadelphia. You did not say champions. If you had said champions, then the list would be different. I would argue that. Is Allen Iverson a champion in Philadelphia? No, no he's not he a champion. It doesn't matter. Did he, he win a championship? He did not win a championship. He went to the final. Allen Iverson. Randall Cunningham never went to the Super Bowl. Was he a champion? No. Okay, so Randall Cunningham not being a champion has nothing to do with was your Randall list. Cunningham, Randall Cunningham's popularity compared to that of Allen Iverson? What was the title of your list? I'm just saying. I'm asking Tell me question. the title. Can I, can I ask a question? If you can, can answer. answer. If you, can, you can't ask a question. Top five athletes. Top okay, five athletes. so I'm arguing the athlete comparison. Not the champion comparison. But you're arguing the athlete comparison based on the popularity, and I'm saying Randall Cunningham's popularity certainly didn't compare to Allen Iverson. You know what's sad, Stephen A. Smith, is that every time I come on this show, I out debate you. And and at this point, <laughs> and at, at this point, it's starting to get it's starting to get it's starting to get weird. Okay? I, I, it's I only, getting awkward. I mean, it's getting like awkward. uncomfortable. It's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. I only it's give it's you it's a it's rebuttal it's based off of what you say. If you had to say champions, it would be different. Joe Frazier is an amazing champion. He's an amazing boxer. But when we say athletes yeah. come from Philadelphia, well, Randall Cunningham was jumping over linemen. Randall Cunningham was sacrificing his body to get in the end zone. Randall Cunningham made the running quarterback as popular as it is today. You know what you else? do not take away By what Randall way, Cunningham did. You do know that Joe Frazier was born and raised, you know, he was raised in Philadelphia. I do know that. I know who the crowd liked. The yes. crowd liked AI. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, yeah. Who, that's who they were Say going I. for. Your boy. So yeah, that's, that's without debate. Yeah. Yeah, undebatable. Right. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't mad with your list, Stephen. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. Well, you're Thank not you. from I'm, Philadelphia. I'm going to be nicer to you, I think, from the The brilliance, the brilliance. Of course, the Will Packer Amphitheater. All right, still plenty more to come on first take here from Fam U. We had a game last night. Yeah. Are the Packers now the best team in the NFC Super Bowl champion? Ryan Clark is here. He will be joining us. Sam, you. Will's got an amphitheater. <laughs> More first take from Tallahassee. Don't go anywhere. It's homecoming weekend. Will Packer, amphitheater. Sam, you. First take is supplemented by Aflac. Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover. health insurance doesn't cover. First take back here at FAMU homecoming weekend. What a crowd that we have. Such an honor to be here. 
Of course, Will Packer is here with us, Stephen A. Smith, obviously. The Will Packer Amphitheater unveiled today. Huge. Congrats again, huge thank you. fan you alum. So thank you so much for being with us. Yes. Uh, but gentlemen, there's something else I want to discuss today. We also have uh, Kevin Hart here, and I'll explain. So last night, the 76ers beat the Pistons and are now over 500 at three and two. Obviously, the Sixers have had a tumultuous offseason and await Ben Simmons to return to the court when he's mentally ready. Kevin, we know you rep all things Philly, but your Eagles, your Sixers, they just can't get it right. So uh, could you give a state of address to the city of Philly, please? Uh, you know, Molly, I knew this was coming. Uh, first and foremost, listen, are our Eagles in the best shape? No, not right now. Um, I don't like to bring turmoil to things that are already bad. So I'm not going to really discuss the Eagles. What I am going to talk about is the 76ers, and I'm going to take the time to shine a positive light on something that people don't want to, okay? What we now are in is a moment where Ben Simmons, okay, he's having some trouble with the franchise, and there's been some back and forth. But what I'm now seeing, I'm seeing the team within itself stand up and step up and be mature about the situation and play basketball because that's their job. And then playing basketball, they're gelling. They're gelling and they're winning basketball games, which is important. And that shows me that we're a playoff team regardless. I think Ben Simmons will eventually get the right advice, will do the right thing, and come back to basketball when he's mentally stable and mentally right. And in the meantime, the team has a job to do. And that team is doing that job. They're going to gel. They're going to mesh well. And when Ben does come back, he'll fit in the way that he should, and we'll get back to playing game at a high level. Ultimately... We are a real basketball team in the NBA, and we are contenders. And this season, you'll see that. That's what it's about. So Philadelphia, do not allow this outside negativity to come in and, 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 and make a mess of what we have. Because we have true stars on our team. We have great leaders. And right now, there's a little bump in the road. Speed bumps come all the time. It's your job to drive over it and get your steering back together. And we will. And shouts out to you, Ben. I know whatever you're going through is tough for you. Everybody's not in your situation. So me being on the outside, I don't judge you. I still support you. And when you come back, you will be back and you will be great and be better. That's what a real fan does. You stand with them and you stand beside them. You don't kick them how some people do. Mr. Dirty Boots, you kick my city every chance you get. I won't allow it to happen here. Not while I'm here, Stephen A. Stand up, Philadelphia. Do what we do best in love, because we're the city of brotherly love. Congratulations again, Will Packer. You got an amphitheater out here. It's a big deal. All right, go ahead, Stephen A. That might be the most ridiculous take I've ever heard you come out your mouth. Why is that? First of all, a couple of things. Number one, just not to bring negativity to you, but y'all just lost to my New York Knicks the other day. I just thought it was one We were talking about my win. Win. We Sixers. just came off a win. Sixers. The Sixers. Okay, but, but we just came off a win. The day, the but we were before. talking about the win but, that we just had. But you lost to the Knicks. You, okay. you want to go two nah, games nah, back? No, nah, no, nah, let me say Yes, I do. You don't go two games That's back. That's number one. Number two, I just want to ask a question. Just a simple question. Yes. Will Packer, help yeah. me out here. Okay, come on. We have a guy in Ben Simmons, and Kevin Hart did not answer this question. He didn't bring it up, but I'm not going to let him off the hook with this. Don't. We have a guy in Ben Simmons. He did not say... I have an emotional issue and I don't want to play basketball. Mm -hmm. He said I got an emotional issue about playing for and in Philadelphia. That's true. That's what he said. He did. As a Philadelphia native, how does it make you feel that a guy is claiming, guess what, I'm not well because I got to play for your city and your team. I'll play for other okay. cities. I'll play for other cities, just not your city and your team. How does right. that make you feel? I'll tell you exactly how it makes me feel. As a guy that came up in Philadelphia, I understand how tough my city can be. We're not you the handled easiest. it. We're not the easiest group of people to deal with. Some people are better than others. I ran into my own problems with Philadelphia early in my career, not being good enough, not being funny, etc. Okay, I was capable of overcoming it. It doesn't mean that everybody else can deal with adversity the same. With that being said, how old has Ben Simmons? 25. All right. At 25 years old, did anybody give him a handbook on how you're supposed to act when this type of success and stardom comes your way? Did anybody give you, you a handbook? You need a handbook to just go out there and play basketball? It's not he's just, an elite player? It's obviously not just about the basketball. It's obviously stuff on and off the court. And Philly. You, you can't say what it is because he you— He said it. I'm saying you can't say why he feels the way he feels. We can't say because we don't know. We're not in those sneakers. We're not in the locker room. We're not at the house after. Right. 
We're not on the course. You know, so you know I say that I to say, say though, there, there are mental pressures that today's athletes are under Absolutely. that are very different than they were ever in our history, okay. right? There's so much scrutiny. There's such a spotlight on them. Fans have access to them in ways Absolutely. that they never had before. And so he is under an extreme amount of pressure May I that's very to that? different. Can I respond to that? You and I both attended an HBCU. This brother's from the streets of Philadelphia. He didn't attend and, uh, the college, I don't think, but he's from, he's, yeah. a, he's from the streets Community of Philadelphia. Community College of Philadelphia. That's right. Two okay. weeks. Two That's weeks. fine. The one thing that we excuse would say. Me, excuse me, Hollywood Hotline. It's not about you this okay. moment. It's about Will Packer because we've got That's the point God himself. <laughs> Chris Paul on the line. CP3, can you hear us? The point God. Mr. 2010, where are you? I can. What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? Thousand, ten thousand. Chris, uh, standing behind Man. me right now, the FAMU football team. Talk to us about why making this documentary about FAMU's football team was so important to you. Man, it's important. It's good to see them boys, man. It's, 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 it's dope to see their story. To see their story, Coach Willie Simmons, the things that they're doing. Uh, you know, them, them boys going out there competing day in and day out. Uh, I just love to be a part of it and to tell their story. Be a part of it and to tell their story. And Chris, let me tell you something, brother. On behalf of myself, the FAMU football team, and everybody down here, we love you. Because you are using your platform to elevate what we're doing down here at FAMU and at HBCUs across the nation. Stephen, you know this. It's never been about can HBCUs compete. It's never been about do we have the skill, do we have the acumen, it's about do we have the opportunity, do ah. we have the resources. And what CP is doing, new show, appearing, streaming right now on ESPN+, Plus, highlighting that FAMU football team that's about to bring it to Grambling this weekend. You already know. We about to put it on Grambling this weekend. CP, your new series is highlighting it, my brother. I appreciate you because this is what it's all about, my friend. Hey, Will, Will, that's all good and well, but this ain't about me. It's about you, man. I just want to tell you congratulations on what you're doing down there at FAMU. They proud to have you. Uh, Stephen A. Molly, great to see y'all. And uh, the, the little dude right there next to you, too, Will. The little dude right there next to you, too, Will. <laughs> well, listen, I just want to say this. It, it, it is about Will Packer today, it, but it's also about guys like CP3 and yes. Will Packer and, yes. and the level of commitment that you guys have made to elevating the profile of HBCUs. Whatever we're trying to do, it's going to take all of us. And the fact that you got somebody like CP3, a perennial all-star, a future Hall of Famer, one of the greatest point guards to have ever played in the NBA, who didn't attend an HBCU but still feels it's so important to highlight HBCUs and its contribution to just our American society as a whole. I just can't say enough yeah, uh, and can, can't express enough gratitude to him and Will Packer. You got to give him flowers. Yes. You got to yes. give CP his flowers. I mean, when it comes to HBCUs and really putting that on your back and creating a conversation, I don't think there's nobody in the NBA that does it more. I mean, from his apparel to his voice to just understanding the importance of moving the culture forward, yes. CP has always done that. So it's one thing that, uh, that I definitely have embraced because of him. It's yes. something that I've move towards because of him and what he does so you know with that in itself outside of the documentary it doesn't shock me that you're looking to do more uh and become more for this particular and, move and kevin let me just piggyback on that it's not like he's retired still one of the best in the game still one of the competing best in the at the game. highest level and one of the best teams in the west so cp3 we appreciate you thank you so much for making some time for us this morning cp we love you sir no problem appreciate y'all no, 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 i just wish i was there appreciate y'all I, I just wish i was there Yes. I know. Well, you could have came. I know. I never experienced his homecoming. I got a game. I got a game tomorrow. I got a game tomorrow. I got a game tomorrow. Yeah, but I know. But I mean, here. you talked about it. Remember, I told you my plane was leaving. You could pop on with me, and I would have had you back. You said, "Well, wait a minute, Kev." You, remember you hung up. Shut up. Remember that? Remember we lying. He lying, y'all. He lying. Okay. You want to know what's important to somebody? You look where they spend their time and their money. Bye, Chris. Thank you. That's what it is. You look where they spend their time and their money. Put their money. Where their mouth is. Absolutely. That's what is important to people. That's what you want. Don't watch what people say. Yep. Watch what they do. Yeah. And that is what CP has done. And you, my brother, Stephen A. Yeah. Using your Stephen platform. A. Yeah, Stephen A. And HBCU ambassador. Right. Still plenty more to come from FAMU on homecoming weekend. Go Sixers. Gonna, go Get your head Sixers. right, man. We're going to be picking up the right, NFL man. games. Don't go anywhere. We'll Get your be back head in right, a moment. Man. More first take right. to come. Get your head. Would you physically, mentally, emotionally? 
it takes 100% of what you have every single day to go out there and be successful. back with us in a moment. Kevin Hart still here with us, Super Bowl champ Brian Clark, and of course the one and only Stephen A. Smith. True story on Netflix, November 24th. Yes, yes. I need more good things to watch. And before we uh, play a little game, I need you all involved. It's going to be called Take It or Leave It, and we're going to pick the games. I just want to say thank you so much for coming here. Yeah. I, I know you, you came for Will, uh, uh, but we really appreciate you. It's so much fun, and well, it's an honor anytime. Don't I love that. your good energy, but don't say and it I means a came, lot. Don't say I just came for Will. I mean, although Will is my brother, yeah. and just to make it very clear, I couldn't be more proud of him and what he's done. Like, Will is responsible for a lot of success that I've had in my career. So as a producer, he's created opportunities for me, and to see him get his just due, his yeah. love in return, I want to be a part of those moments for him because he's created so many moments for me. Now, with that being said, you guys coming and being a part of this. This is a platform, the same thing. You guys have been there for me throughout my career. So embracing you guys, showing you love is something that I prioritize. So it's always a duel. It's never one-sided. It means a lot. And well, it, it's it, really great to have a crowd, too. Absolutely. Right? Family is the same. Family is the same. Right, Stephen it's, A? It feels like we're getting back to it's, normal. It's, it's, listen, it's, it's just so much that's going on here. We know the incredible resume that Will Pack has put forth and all the great, great things that he's been doing. We're going to talk a little bit later about him directing the Oscars. Let's yeah. not forget that. He's going to be, yes, he's, he's gonna be back here Oscars. as well. Yes. This brother right here, true story, I would advise everybody to go see. I've already seen some of it because I had access to it earlier. It oh ain't just, God. I'm not, oh, I'm not, I'm not listen, I'm not <laughs> talking course. about, I'm just saying, you get to meet me in this business, in the business, you get access to it. You got a guy <laughs> that's here, in all seriousness, you got a guy here that's not just a comedian, he's an actor. Yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. going to see him doing some incredible, yeah. incredible work. And Kevin Hart, just when you think that he's reached the pinnacle, he just shows you time and time again that there's another level to his greatness. I'm I can't excited. be happier for Listen, you. Listen, all I, the I best am, to you. Man. I am so excited for people to lay eyes on True Story. It's a thriller. It's me going past the stages of drama. I mean, in fatherhood, I of course put my dramatic acting skills on I display. Cried. I ain't gonna lie. I Thank cried. you, man. I appreciate like, like, it. Like for real, that. The as, 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 as a dad, though, yeah. like as a dad, man, having daughters and it was something. It's an emotional it was different. story, it was good, man. And and you know, I think it's just about switching it up where and when I can. And I don't want to make this about me, so I'm not. But Celebrity Game Face is a game show that I have on E, uh, Coldest Balls that just premiered a new season. <laughs> and uh, outside of that, uh, my, my podcast, Comedy Gold Mines, is doing amazing. And um, also the radio show, Straight From The Heart, we're doing big things as well. But you're uh, not going to make it about it's you? It's not about me. Okay, and True cool. Story, once again, is produced uh, by Heartbeat myself. I, I, oh that gosh. comes you on Netflix work on, Thanksgiving. you got to work on getting a little more and, range and, uh, on your and, portfolio. Yeah, and just, so, yeah, so this right. isn't about me and my yeah. plugs. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I said wait, all those wait, things. Wait, 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 to show so much humility, too. Yeah. That was yeah, real, not real, about me. Real, not quick, about real, real quick to, to tell on myself, <laughs> yeah. he invited me on, on, on the show, Cold as Walls, and I didn't show up because I, I'm not satisfied yet. With, with wait, I got to get in shape. I told I you you could wear a I just got to get in shape, man. I, I, I can't, can't, I can't wear a in suit a tub. in a cold tub. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I told you that. I think you're more scared of the ice anyway. You're right. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's play this game, Take It or Leave It, but again, right. Kevin, thank you, thank you, thank take you. Take it, I take it. Okay, Take It or Leave It, let's pick these games, all right? Uh, Dak Prescott is dealing with a calf strain and says he wants to play Take It or Leave It, the Cowboys will win in Minnesota. Leave it. Minnesota will win this game. This is going to be the upset of the week, and I think the Minnesota Vikings could have won this game even if Dak Prescott was healthy. This is not a 3-3 three and three football team. Okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go with Minnesota. I don't like the fact, here's what I don't like. I don't like the fact that the Dallas Cowboys had a bye week and then you still come and play on Sunday, but it's a late night game. How come you can't play at 1 o'clock? Why you got to have they don't, at Because they don't make why, the why you schedule, got to do it? Stephen I'm just a. saying, they, 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 there's a lot of favoritism that's given to the Dallas Cowboys and their <laughs> nauseating, disgusting fan base. It really bothers me that that happens. I just want to make that for the record. It should. I'm leaving it. It should. There's nothing more annoying than a Dallas Cowboy fan. I can agree with you. Uh, <laughs> but in this case, you know, the Cowboys have definitely played football this yes. season. You can't act as if they haven't. They have. I know that you guys love to pick the upsets to make yourselves look cool and make it look like you have extra knowledge about the game. Oh, but in okay. this case, you couldn't be more wrong. So I'm not going to leave it. I'm going to take it. The Cowboys okay. will definitely run through the Minnesota Vikings. All right. Who are you guys going with? The Cowboys? Yeah. yeah. All right. You're alone on an island, 
Kevin, you know what's sad? You know what's sad? He's the kind of person. He's the kind of person that's gonna rub it in and go tweet about it Sunday night. You know, just, just to remind everybody if they win. I'm gonna remind you. you. I'm not gonna remind the world. I'm gonna remind you. Yeah, it's gonna you. be you. It's yeah. just gonna be you. Yeah. I don't right. care. Can we move on? Next one. Yes, we can move on. Sure, whatever you need. Uh, these two teams play this weekend. Take it or leave it. The Patriots will go deeper than the Chargers this season, RC. Oh, I'll leave that too. The Los Angeles Chargers are a better football team than the New England Patriots. They have a better quarterback. Obviously, we're going to look at Bill Belichick as the coach and say that he can fix things that are wrong with this team. But the Los Angeles Chargers have a better roster. They've played better this season. I expect them to win this game this weekend and go farther in the playoffs. I, I completely concur. I don't need to add anything on top of that. Ryan is absolutely right. Yeah, in this case, I don't need the same thing either. The Chargers are a much better football team. Chargers will be the Patriots. He lives like Patriots in LA, or so Chargers? He won't go back home. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on for a second, Molly. Crowds with you. Ha, ha, ha. I know you're a very, very, very busy man. Yeah. Have you had an opportunity to get to so far? I have. We have, okay. a, we have a suite there. So oh. we like, did you not think he had a suite? No, I'm just checking. Because yeah, he, he always yeah. talk about how busy he is. I, I didn't been. know if he had hey, time what, to go to the game. Oh, what, That's all what, I'm saying. What did you ask him if he's been to so Has he been to so far? Yes. And he, oh, he has a suite there. He has yeah, a suite. suite. Like, yeah, there's levels to this. There's levels. Are you sure? The kids want to go. The family comes. Stephen A., it's a nice spread. If you want to come. No, no, no. I was there. I was in a suite. I don't have. A suite, but I was in a suite when I was there. It's a nice setting. This is a nice, nice setting. Stephen A's writing hey, down. I need are, a suite. Those Goals. are two different things. I know that. Yes. That's Sitting what I'm in saying. a suite. I'm conceding. And having yes. a suite. I'm conceding it. He <laughs> has one. I visited. Is it not comfortable to be not next to someone more <laughs> famous <laughs> and, and more <laughs> rich than you? Not at all. Yeah. I look up to him. It's Even though I'm looking you down, when I look up. I still look up to him. You never just give a compliment. I look up to him. He's down, but up. You know. Y'all also miss the kids might want to go. So that means sometimes. When he is working, yeah. he's not even at the game. Yeah, the he kids. just has the suite to have right. the suite. And I don't have it go. like that. Yeah, my kids want to <laughs> no. go. The family, yeah. you guys go. I can't. I, I can't be there all the time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've got <laughs> stuff. You got work. You heard all this, yeah. Brad. I, I, I totally you, you understand. Heard, you heard the rest. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for new heights. He's already yeah. there. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. I like the inspiration. All I'm right, good with that. Take it or leave it. The Saints will beat the Bucks at home Sunday. I'll start with you, Kevin. Will the Saints beat the Bucks? I would love. I would love to go against Tom Brady, but I'm gonna be. Giannis is just not realistic. There's no shot. Tampa Bay Bucks will beat the Saints. It's not even a question. Why don't you like Tom Brady? I said I, I would love to go against him just to say it. I love it, Tom Brady. Got it, got it, I think got Tom Brady's the best quarterback in football. Okay, He's the GOAT. Okay. I would love to disagree with him, but I don't like what I've seen from the Saints offense. I'm going to go with Tom Brady and the Bucks because I think simply they're going to put up enough points to win. Yes. You know what? I came here to agree with y'all. Man, what the hell with that? I got to go back to the crib. I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints in the upset. So you scared to go home? This defense? You're scared to go home? So I'm scared, scared, scared to go home. You, scared, you sound scared to me. I'm not no, scared, you to scared, scared to go home. You sound scared to go home. It was a little, you sound hey, scared guys, to go home. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm comfortable on any Martin Luther King Boulevard. We good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. I can go back to the crib. I'm going to take the Saints, though. All right. James Winston, no turnovers in four games after yeah. Mr. 30-30. He's been turning it around. Yeah, I know. We're in Florida. I don't even know why I asked. All right, take it or leave it. The Steelers can make the playoffs. I'm starting with you. You, you, you. And I love my Steelers. We all know that. But I am an objective individual, unlike some emotional people that I know. I am objective. And I look at the Steelers and their offensive line and a stationary target at the quarterback position. I'm looking at the elevation of, Cle of, of, of Cincinnati. We know Baltimore is going to be there. We know the Chargers, the Chiefs, we ain't sleeping on the Chiefs. The Raiders are somebody that can't be ignored. And of course, the Buffalo Bills. I have to say, I don't see the Steelers making I, the play. I don't know why you had to go down that long road <laughs> to get there. I, why, why did you have to take 45 seconds of our life that we can never get back <laughs> to say what you just said. It was an easy answer. We all knew the answer. Why did you take so long? I, and I got to tell you, <laughs> and another thing, and if you know anything about me, I'm objective. And the thing about being objective is understanding when to apply objection. So in this case, I'm going to go down a road of objectifying, and I'm going to let you know what you may not. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're not going to make it. You know that. No. 
I got a better chance of getting tall. It won't happen. Oh, wow. No. Right. I didn't, you, I didn't get Eagles that question. Got a better chance I didn't get that question in my email, Molly, so I'm not prepared to answer. No, That's you need. Real no, weak. don't even try I thought try you wasn't scared. It. I thought you were scared. Super Bowl champ with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They ain't going to make Pittsburgh. it. Yeah. Well, they ain't going to no. make it. No. They ain't no. going to make it. No, 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 no. All right, that's a lot now. That's no. a lot of no's. It should be aggressive. We heard the first one. All right, are the Steelers, ask me the question, Molly. Watch this. Are the Pittsburgh Steelers making the playoffs? No! <laughs> oh, my God, I had a commercial that. face on time. No! Get to so many topics. <laughs> hey, I got one for you. Uh, take it or leave it. The Lions will get their first win when they play your Eagles Sunday. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Hart. I have never felt better. <laughs> I've never felt better Don't about answering the Detroit. question. It's Detroit. Don't hate on Detroit. At, at the end of the day, it's the Lions. The Lions will beat themselves, okay? Yes, we're not good. Yes, we're not good and we're having a bad year. But we are not as worse as the Detroit Lions. We <laughs> will get a win over the Detroit Lions. The yes. Detroit Lions win their first game this weekend. The no Detroit shot. Lions no absolutely. win their first absolutely. game. They will beat the Philadelphia Eagles in day 12, yeah. as my and you know, friend, the great Stuart Scott, once said. Uh, day 12. The Detroit Lions uh, they will. will beat the Eagles yes. this weekend. Uh, and you know, Stephen A. hates everything about Philly anyway. That's not and true. And he always comes that's on this show true. and says bad yes, things about Philly. That's not yeah. true. Absolutely. You're really, really going to say that? Absolutely. You're really going to put me out there like <laughs> that? Really that is not yeah. true. That is a the lie. The only thing you like about Philly is Allen Iverson. Our city made you. Made, you. made right. you. And you right. turned your back, back on you. You turned your back turned on your us. Back on turn your back. I don't turn my back on you. You turned turn your, your backs on us. Judas. By telling you the truth. Every once in a while, all we need is a little verbal support. Right now, the Eagles, I yes, we're struggling. I gave it to you. No, you yes, don't. we're struggling. I, I, listen. You listen, know what you don't hold do? Hold on, hold you don't you uplift. <laughs> you don't uplift. That's what you don't do. You take yeah. the chance and you push down. Okay. Push give down. The, give the Eagles a little uplift. No, he don't know how to do that. Give the Sixers a little uplift. No. I have something uplifting for the Eagles. Guys, I want you to hear from their coach, Nick Sirianni. Kevin Hart, please listen to this. It's for you. The results aren't there right now, but what's going on here is is that there's growth under the soil. I, I, I put a picture of a, a flower up, right, and that it's and it's coming through the ground, and the roots are growing out, and the roots and the roots are continuing to grow out. And everybody wants to see results. Shoot, we nobody wants to see results more than us. But it's really important that that the the foundation is being built, and that the the roots are growing out. And the only way the roots grow out every single day, and they grow stronger, and they grow they grow better is if that we all put our we all water we all fertilize we all do our part each each individual each individual coach each individual player each everybody in in the building that we do our part to water to make sure that when it does pop out it, it, it really it really pops out it really it really pops out I can tell you yeah, what you know, here. Kevin, I feel I motivated because roots grow down. I can tell you what happened here. <laughs> it's a flower. Right, I can tell you exactly what happened here. Out too, yeah. though. I can they tell you what happened out. here. Okay, I'm and a, there's fertilizer. I'm going to go to Nick's defense. I know what happened here. Okay, All right? what happened? What happened? They asked him a question, and Nick, Nick had a great premise in his head. <laughs> yeah. Right? He, he, had a great, he had a great premise in his head. And the premise was, listen, at the end of the day, for a flower to grow, it has to be watered. Right now... <laughs> We're we're in the growing stages, okay. but but he didn't hit it. He didn't hit it that fast. He didn't he, stop fast. Yeah, he went with he went with words that threw him off. We we see fertilizer. If you our plant, see listen. Everybody's got to have a bucket, and if everybody does their part in water. See, let me tell you something about dirt. Dirt, dirt. If God dirt, made dirt. Dirt, dirt listen, don't hurt. Understand what dirt does. Dirt, dirt basically is the home of any root. So we. If we listen to me, as a as a, I can't breathe. We got to take the root, and the e a eagle eats what? Worms. Where are worms at? In the dirt. So we can't fly if we don't get a worm out the dirt. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, no. basically. You're planting seeds. No. Planting seeds. Roots are growing. Yeah. Can, can I put it? Like can I put it more? Can I put it more succinctly? <laughs> The man sounded high. Yeah. No. Hey. He no. sounded no. high. No. 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 no, he did not. Hey. Hey. No, he did no. not. See, see, no. he hates no. Philadelphia. No, 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 no. What did I say? What did I say? He tried to make my man Adam Gates. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He sounded lost. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Lost. I did not say he looked it. That's Adam Gates years yes. ago for the Jets. That's true. I said he sounded. He now I'm going to say it again in case people thought I was stuttering. He sounded high. No, no. no he, he, did, he's okay. lost. he got I lost in the metaphor. The play. Oh, Stephen A., Stephen A., that man thought about that from the time they lost that really? game really? until this press conference. Yeah. And he, he knew like he thought about that? He knew exactly what he wanted to say, but 
Steven, um, uh, Kevin's right. When he got into it, yeah. he got lost. It, lost. Yeah. it was a mess. Right. And he tried what to do too he much. He put a lot into <laughs> that. He, he knew what <laughs> he, 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 he meant. He prepared that speech and, and he lost his mouth. And what, what, does, his and what happens He's, to people who sound high? Listen, That's how they sound. They eat a lot of food and play video games. I didn't say he looked that way. I said he sounded that way. There's been moments where you've had some times where I've questioned what you did the night before. You've dropped some words that have really made me go. I don't That's know not a real word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something so I never said up. it's not a real word. That ain't not yeah. true. Well, we'll I say real words. His, his heart was in the right yes, place. He got lost. Yes. He fumbled. <laughs> he tried to do it. Doncic and the Mavs square off against reigning MVP Nikola Jokic and the Nuggets. Our coverage starts with NBA Countdown 7 Eastern. Greeny, Stephen A., Jalen, and Will Bond. That is tonight. Welcome back into First Take at FAMU Homecoming Weekend. Thank you to this crowd. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. It is humbling to be here. My first experience at an HBCU homecoming, shocking, but an incredible time. So we got Ryan Clark here, Stephen A., Kevin Hart, Will Packer, the Will Packer Amphitheater. He is an alum. And we unveiled that today. So again, huge congrats to you, sir. So since it is homecoming it is. weekend, yes. Will Packer, yes. you're a vet. Can you give us your top five tips yes. for HBCU Homecoming oh, Weekend? Top five must have, okay. right? Yes, so, must have. Listen, you know Stephen A does those bad lists every yes, week, yes. right? So, Stephen C list or I'm D gonna list. A list is so or, fluid yeah. all Horrible. Yeah. I'm going to give you some lists that are tried and true, ironclad. Okay. okay? These are must haves okay. at FAMU Homecoming. FAMU, y'all ready? Y'all ready? First thing you must have, number one, okay. you got to have turn up skills, crowd. Show me right now how we turn up. Give me your best dance at FAMU Homecoming. Let's go. Right now. Give me some dance. Give me a little turn up. See that chair? See that? 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 All right, let's okay. go. Let's go. Hold answer. on. Here's the next thing. Next thing you got to have. Stephen A. hadn't brought this up. Ryan Clark brought it up. Stephen A. knows I look very good today. You do. Because I'm in my orange and green. You, you do. do. Because that's how we do at HBCU. We dress to the nine. Yeah. You got to have that drip, okay? Yeah. Can yeah. I show you an example of what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. This is that yeah. you drip oh. right there. <laughs> Head to toe. Yes. Head to toe, orange yes. and green. Yes. You see how it is. That's yeah. how we do. Yes. Survey. Thank you. Commitment. Thank Survey you, says. You. Super Thank you look good. Okay. okay. Listen. Survey says. Listen. Good. good answer. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Kev, this next one is for you. Okay. Because okay. I know you didn't go to HBCU or wow. any college for that matter, but that's well. okay. <laughs> Turn down well, for okay. you. Well. One of the reasons he didn't go is because when you go to an HBCU homecoming, you need to have height appropriate friends. Oh. Okay. Oh, Can I show wow. you what that looks like? That? Height appropriate friends. So come out here right now. Let's say, <laughs> let's say that this is one of my friends yeah. and this is your other friend, yeah. right? Yeah. And they want a high five, yeah. right? <laughs> they got to figure out how to do it yeah. because they see, see that? Yeah. See, that's not, that's not going to work. Okay. That's not going to, so what I did, Kevin, because I know it's you yeah. and yeah. It's, I got a jersey for you <laughs> because you got to have height appropriate friends. Wait a second. So this, this is for <laughs> you, <laughs> Kevin, but when you come down here to family, I got you, brother. Yeah, you are listen. always welcome. It's not even yes, my last name. No, 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 name. That's, 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 that's for you because you're my friend. This okay. is my guy right here. Okay. Doesn't look listen. like that much of a friend moment. Friends like you, who needs enemies? Okay. Here's the other thing you need. I'm not done with my list, okay? okay. It's a Packer 5 pack. Okay. The other thing you need is an amazing crew. Okay. A crew that you roll with. Okay. And y'all know how we do with the frats and the sororities. At I know a little bit about that. Yo, right? So I need my frats and sororities to come through oh, and oh. represent. Oh, That's okay. pan hell. Oh, man. Get out there, okay. show them what you do. You know okay. I'm a good brother of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, okay. Okay. and these are all my Greek the, friends the here at FAMU. That's what it is. Yes, a lot of them. Yeah. You gotta have a big crew yeah. and a tight crew yeah. to make them. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. time to get them up. That's how they do. Okay. All right. Get them up. Okay. All right. Got it. Now you gotta see y'all brothers. Absolutely. Okay. Now, you gotta clear now, this out. Right? Last thing. 
Well, Last man, thing you need. Well, Kevin, well, well, the cameras can't this, see you. This no is more, their bro. time, but look they love. Look at, see, this is what they do. These fraternities don't not act. The cameras, hold on, you stop pointing at them. The cameras can see me. I don't think they can see you. I yeah. think we lost you. We lost me in the whole thing. Here we go. And here's the last thing you need at FAMU homecoming, okay? This is what we need. I got the football team behind me because right. we're going to destroy Grambling this weekend. Let's go. Everybody, you need the highest crowd ever in the history of homecoming. Turn up, FAMU. Turn up. Let's go. FAMU, happy homecoming, baby. Kevin Hart, my guy, because I love him. This is my guy. You want to know who we're going to be? Now, that's a list. Did that's you a list. How about that? The, 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 the height appropriate friend. That, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was my favorite one right here. That didn't Absolutely. make sense. Well, you know, listen, I've been, I didn't like that part. I've been in this school, I've been in this school several times with Will Packer, and Will Packer is the guy that won't let college die. Right? Like he's, <laughs> Will Packer is that guy. But with you, oh, Will. Yeah, yeah, he's, I, I'm yeah. just making you miss college. Come on, no, Molly. Right? Molly killed. Right, Will still you. steps. I he do. still, they put on a song. He he goes. And with my, with my brother there. He, nobody knows him. He, he yells out <laughs> stuff to the college nobody kids. Knows they don't understand yeah. the stuff. Y'all still hanging out at the courthouse. <laughs> he said that. He, it's just bad. He won't let us die. Stephen A., let me tell you, my brother had an amazing two weeks at community college. And during that time, he didn't make a lot of bonds. That's what it is. So That's he kind of hates is. on the college experience. So he comes, well, he hates on it until he gets here. Until then he gets here, he embraces it embraces all. It. And then he's mad Come on. they couldn't stay. Absolutely. I can be honest That's with what you. That is. I can go. definitely be honest with you. Getting the full HBCU experience definitely does make you feel like you missed something. I agree. With it that. makes you feel like, wow, man, yeah. I didn't go the right route. I wish I had experienced that. I got to be honest about that. Now, that doesn't mean that my CCP family in Philadelphia is <laughs> not embraced. The community college of Philadelphia CCP has done amazing go. things. Yeah, Kevin Hart said he didn't go the right route. I yeah. think you're doing just fine. Yeah. Let me take out my tiny violin for you. So Ryan, you prove on the be list. A tiny violin. You, you prove on the list. <laughs> It's a perfect list. It's, a good list. it's the best list first take has ever had. It's yeah. a good list. Yeah. It's best list first take has ever had. Thank you so much for doing it. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's, it's not a fluid. 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 Okay. His career in Green Bay. That is the question we'll ask next. It certainly looks like he's having fun out there and cold as balls. Yeah, he's back with Kevin Hart. Yes, because everything 